Hi, uh, Ian Dixon here. How are you today? Um, very short video today, literally three or four minutes, to do with uh, how I personally absorb knowledge, whether that be through uh, things like this, where, you know, um, uh, book reading. So what I tend to do, uh, certainly business books, I won't read one book at a time on a given subject. For example, there's three books here on one topic. So, um, and I thought it would be a good uh, opportunity for me to share maybe a video with you on how I go about that to, to take on new knowledge. It doesn't have to be from a book, it could be from videos, it could be from a presentation, uh, but I apply the same kind of rule set. So I'm going to share that with you today. If, if you're a business owner um, and you're struggling to take on board new knowledge, uh, this might be of help to you because it's critical that you do. Um, whether that be in front of a video or whether it be from a book. So I'm going to share that with you. So if that's of use, then stick around three, four minutes and we'll be done. Uh, it's very straightforward. It's very simple, but actually then most of the things that I share are. So uh, please do click on the subscribe and ding the bell. It's always very useful for us if you uh, want to join us on the channel. So anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. So um, the, the, the concept here is, especially with business books, is that it, it doesn't, they don't really have a start, middle and end. Uh, it, it, it's just information. And so I started doing this actually when I was reading books on leadership and there are a gazillion books on leadership. And ultimately they are all just, uh, each book is just somebody's opinion. It's just data that they've gathered experience that they've gathered and then put together in in their you know it's their kind of take on the subject and I've read books on topics where they they've been uh, totally uh, opposing concepts or ideas which is really quite interesting uh, to read where because when you see something in print we tend to take it as gospel and it obviously isn't always the case so what I basically do is um, uh, certainly, so let's start with books. So I, I, I've got three here. So I will have three books on the go on a particular subject and um, I will flick through them and find a chapter that I find interesting. It, just randomly, I'll read that chapter. I'll put that book down and then I'll pick up one of the other ones or pick up the other two and I'll try and find something or, that, that is being discussed on a similar topic within that book. And I'll make some notes. And basically what I do is I will take in or make notes uh, on the bits that I find useful and that I want to keep. Um, I reject and throw away the bits that I either I just don't agree with or um, I actually straight out think is not true, uh, but essentially just discard the things that aren't important to me or incongruent with, with my kind of take on it. And then the third element is that, which people that know me will know, is that I like to ionize it. So, so I will add in my own take on it. So, so I absorb what I think is useful, clever, you know, is like, you know, instead of inventing the wheel, let's just take that one. Um, I reject the stuff that I find um, incongruent or I just, it, it just doesn't sit right with me and then I'll add my own kind of take on it. So absorb, reject, and add. So now that that's how I started, because I was never really a great book reader, and then uh, I knew that I needed to study and read books. And certainly last year, when I was speaking in Australia, one of the topics that I had to talk about, uh, I was rusty on uh, from my corporate days, and uh, you know I needed to go away and study. So, um, and so uh, reading three books on something gives you a really broad interest in take because often the, 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 uh, the authors give you a very different spin on something. Um, and then I translated that across to presentations. So I can remember going to a four day event probably about five, six years ago now, uh, which I can't even believe it was that long ago. Um, and while I was there, I applied this same rule. So if something was being shared that I thought was amazing, I'd be all over it and I'd definitely be you know, making highlighted notes. And if there were elements of it, I'd still record it, but I would reject it. And then when I got home, I then went through the process of trying to work out how can I ionize that? How can I make that so that it feels like it's mine when it is a hybrid of something that's inspired me, something that I, I, I've taken on board, 
I've removed elements of it because I didn't find them useful and then what can I add to it that makes it mine so um, yeah so that's pretty much uh, that was pretty much it um, I just thought it would be useful I just we you know we've just done some videos around uh, the importance of learning every day every week and um, I thought it might be useful for you guys to know, perhaps know uh, somebody that has to be at the front end of all of these things as much as I can. Um, how do I go about that? So, and that's pretty much it. So um, I take three books, I'll um, mash them up, I absorb, reject and add. So that's pretty much how it works. Hope you found that useful. Like I say, please do click on the um, subscribe and bell. And we look forward to catching up with you on the next video. I'm going to say bye for now.